My name is Terry Robertson. I'm a registered psychotherapist and an expressive arts therapist. I'm a companion. I'm an, a, an agent of change. Just there is a presence to assist, to hold space for people in their suffering um, is definitely part of the job. There's always a transformation. <laughs> if there's a problem, there can be transformation. So in terms of suffering, we tend to run away from suffering. So if you just sit with the suffering and learn to be with the discomfort and even welcome it and thank it, it can really shift things for people. Like Gabor Mate actually talks about how addiction, it's not the addiction, not why the addiction, it's why the pain. So you want to go to the pain in order to address it, acknowledge it, welcome it. It's there for a reason. Find out what the reason is. How does it serve? And then make space for it so that things can shift. I think it was James Hillman who said, Psyche, the goddess, who is also soul, Psyche would starve to death without suffering. So there has to be some suffering. We just want to moderate how much <laughs> suffering. So in order to have any kind of transformation, you need some suffering. There has to be a problem in order to transform. If you were to come to therapy for reasons of constantly having rumination just before trying to fall asleep at night, uh, I would know that probably there's a perception cognition issue that it's possible you weren't entirely in touch with your body. So I would encourage some work around feeling body sensation, um, identifying emotions that might be present, being in touch with intuition and gut feelings. Those are all very reliable sources of information. So that's basically why it's useful to go there. Based on the cues the person's um, giving, I will offer choices and we could shift from, you know, doing some drawing into doing, making a po like journaling and then circling uh, some words and creating a poem out of that. Maybe there's a melody that could be found as well. It's high sensitivity, but there's no skill required. We're there together. I might be doing art in response to the art that you are making, for instance. And then we will look at that as well. Um, that's a form of validation uh, to see somebody else's response to what you're making. And that kind of drives the process. It's this making with the hands or body or voice. 